بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين سورة قريش is a Meccan سورة in the majority of the books of tafsir it's called سورة قريش or the ilaf or the ilaf قريش it was revealed after التين and before uh, القارعة and there is no particular reason for the revelation of the surah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the book of At-Tabarani, it was classified as sound by Albani, mentioned a narration uh, in which he mentioned Surah Al-Fil to be one of the favors of Allah Azza wa Jal upon the people of Quraysh. He said, <coughs> Allah Azza wa Jal favored the Quraysh with seven qualities. No one before them uh, had ever possessed these qualities and no one after them will ever have them. Number one, he said, the Khilafah, Caliphate, must be from them. The Caliph cannot be other than a person from Quraysh. Traces back to Quraysh. In our time, he's not from Quraysh, meaning he's not during the time of the Prophet ﷺ with the companions, but he traces back to Quraysh. Number two, they are the custodians of the Kaaba. And number three, they are the ones who provide water for the pilgrims. Number four, prophethood was from amongst them meaning himself, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Number five, they were given victory against the elephant. Notice the connection between the surah and the surah of the al-fil. And they, they worshipped Allah azza wa jal seven years, they worshipped none with him. They associated none with him. And the scholar said that the Prophet ﷺ here is talking about the first period of his prophethood when he was followed by a small number of companions in Mecca. Because he said, seven years, none other than them worshipped Allah alone. And other than the small number of the companions who followed, believed and followed the Prophet ﷺ, no one else worshipped Allah alone. Everybody associated with Allah. And a surah was revealed that spoke about no one else except them. And then he said, لِإِلَافِ Quraysh." Allah says, لِإِلَافِ قُرَيْشٍ إِلَافِهِمْ رِحْلَةَ الشِّتَاءِ وَالصَّيْفِ Shaykh Al-Uthaymeen Rahmatullah Alayhi makes a connection between this surah and the surah before it which is Al-Feel. He said the one before it Allah Azza wa Jal reminded the Quraysh with his favor upon them with the story of the field and his protection to them and how he defeated their enemy who came to demolish the Kaaba and fight them. And Allah Azza wa Jal sufficed them and killed their enemy and demolished them altogether. And this type of favor is a favor of repelling evil and harm from touching them. He said, and in this surah, the connection is that Allah Azza wa Jal is also reminding the Quraysh with another type of favor, which is realizing benefit. The first one was repelling harm and evil. This one, the favor is realizing benefit and gain for them, which is the journey of the winter and the summer. Allah Azza wa Jal says, لِإِلَافِ قُرَيْشِ For the accustomed security of Quraysh, إِلَافِهِمْ رِحْلَةَ الشِّتَاءِ وَالصَّيْفِ Their accustomed security 
in the caravan of the winter and the summer, the two journeys, the two trips, business trips they had in the winter and uh, in the summer. Ilaf. Ilaf, as the scholar said, can have or hold different meanings. One is the meaning of reuniting. As Allah says, says about the, the companions, He reunited your hearts. Because before the advent of Islam, the Arabs used to fight each other. Right? After the advent of Islam, they became brothers. So they loved each other. They helped each other. They protected each other. They supported each other. They cared for one another. So Allah re reunited their hearts. Alifa, ilaf, alifa, it's the same root. And the other meaning is to be used to something or to adopt something as a new habit. To get accustomed to something new. But in both meanings, this being accustomed to something, whether it is from before or something uh, new. Now in this Allah Azza wa is referring to the security the Quraysh had which they became used to it in Mecca as a result of Mecca because what had happened in the in, uh, incident of the elephant made people uh, look at the people of Quraysh in a different way because they said they have divine protection from the Creator. So they became honored as a result of that. And the letter Li, Li Ilafi, the scholar said, is a letter that's used in the prefix of Ilaf uh, to express surprise and wonder. Meaning, it is surprising for Quraysh that they would not worship the one Lord, the one Creator, the one Ilah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, though He protected them from evil, from evil and blessed them with the journeys of the summer and the winter. Uh, Allah Azza wa Jal uh, in the Quran tells us the supplication of Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam uh, after he left Hajar and, her son, and his son Ismail in the middle of nothing which was Mecca it was a valley that's, that was infertile that was dry that was, had nothing there was no one living there what did Ibrahim supplicate Allah Azza wa Jal he said Rabbi ja'al hadha Baladan Amina Warzuq Ahlahu Mina Thamarat. O my Lord, make this a secured town and provide its people with fruits, which is exactly what happened to the Quraysh as the result of repelling the evil alam tara kayfa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashab al-fil and the security that resulted from that which led to thamarat fruits and crops in the journeys of the summer and the winter at the time when everyone was experiencing terror and fear Fights, battles, attacks. Quraysh in Mecca were safe. No one did anything against them. Allah protected them from suffering what others around them suffered. As Allah says in the Quran, أَوَلَمْ يَرَوْا أَنَّا جَعَلْنَا حَرَمًا آمِنًا وَيُتَخَطَّفُ النَّاسُ مِنْ حَوْلِهِمْ have they not seen 
the people of the Quraysh, the Arabs in Mecca, that we made Mecca a safe haven while people are being snatched away all around them. So they, they enjoyed security. They became accustomed li'ilaf. They became accustomed. They got used to this as, there is, as a result of the favor of Allah's protection against the harm and evil of Abraha and his army. And al thamarat the result of the security is that they started going to Yemen and to Sham. They go to Yemen in the winter to get crops and to Sham, greater Syria, the Levant, uh, in the summer to get fruits. فَلْيَعْبُدُوا رَبَّ هَذَا الْبَيْتِ Let them Worship the word, the Lord of this house, the Kaaba. Then let them, then let them worship the Lord of this house. Meaning to express gratitude to these favors from Allah Azza wa safety and security, fruits and crops, protection, honor and dignity the least you can do is if you have decency is to express your gratitude by worshiping the one whom you admit is the creator and the protector and the provider and 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 single him out in worship don't associate your idols with him this is the least you can do الذي أطعمهم من جوع وآمنهم من خوف Who has fed them Let them worship the Lord of this house Who had fed them Saving them from hunger And made them secured Saving them from fear الذي أطعمهم من جوع By looking at the land of Mecca and how dry and infertile it is, it is impossible for them to think that they will get any source of food from that area. So Allah Azza wa Jal saved them from this hunger due to the nature of the land they are in by, the, by virtue of these two trips. And made them secured whilst they were weak, disunited, Everybody's trying to attack everybody in that time, right? And Allah Azza wa gave them security and safety. The, the uh, safety and security in Mecca extends beyond humans, as you know. You know in, in, uh, in Mecca it is forbidden to cut any tree or kill anything. You can't, you can't hunt. You can't harm even the, the, the pigeons and the birds. You can't uh, force them away. Everything and everyone is secured and, and safe in the, the area of Mecca. So Allah Azza wa Jal, uh, again, the reason or the objective of reminding the Quraysh with these favors, the favor of provision and security, and is that they would go back to their senses and submit to Allah Azza wa and worship Him alone since He is the source of all of these favors upon the Quraysh. With this we conclude the uh, surah Subhanak Allahum bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik